six drops of the essence of terror, five drops of sinister sauce. When the stirring's done, may I like the spoon? Of course, ha ha, of course. Hi, my name is Anna. I work with the social support group programs and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to liaise with the staff from Arts and Culture to make this video. I'm actually going to show you how to make chai. Now chai is drank in, in many places now. Apparently it originally started back in India when it was called Siam, maybe over 5,000 years ago when a, the king asked for a healing brew to be made. So someone made him a brew with spices. Now it's changed, um, black tea has been added, um, milk and sugar, and you can buy prepared chai. So if you want to try chai, you can even buy uh, chai tea bags at the supermarket. You can buy instant chai. You can also buy prepared chai. This one is a dry one and this one is more a moist one. They call this sticky chai. And if you do get one of these, you can just follow the instructions on the packet and make your own chai. But I'll make a chai today using fresh, uh, well dry herbs, fresh ginger. So for the recipe that I'm going to use, I'm going to put in the mortar, I've got two teaspoons of black peppercorns, I've got 10 cloves, and six cardamom pod, pods, uh, two sticks of cinnamon, smells so good. And I love to put some fresh ginger in. So I cut a piece of um, ginger and just, oh, you can even leave the skin on if you like, but I haven't washed it, so I thought I'd better take the skin off just to peel it. The lovely thing is with chai, you can make it according to your own tastes. I'm just giving you some basic ingredients, but there's a multitude of spices you can use. And as chai has gone into the Western world, it's picked up spices from other countries. I sometimes use a, an Australian made chai, so it's even got like Australian native um, plants and herbs in it. I'm not using this today, I'm following the recipe I have, but star anise is beautiful, um, fennel seeds, which would give it a bit of a licorice type flavour. As well as being tasty, spices have a lot of health benefits. Now I'm, I'm, I'm not a medical person, so I won't tell you about the different benefits, but you can read up about different things like ginger, turmeric, cinnamon. These ginger, uh, these cinnamon sticks are a little bit big. Now you don't actually have to crush the herbs. It's more just to gently knock them to bruise them. There they go. So I'm just bruising them a little bit. After gently crushing the spices just to bruise them, I put them into a, a pot. Now, if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can actually just crush them with a spoon. I've got a spoon here, so I can just gently bruise them in the saucepan like that. Oh, I can already smell the aromats coming out of that. It's beautiful. Now one spice that I haven't put in but I love to use, it's actually a relative of ginger, it's turmeric. So it, it's got the same consistency as ginger but it's a lovely orange. So that's another option you can use. Now after you put your spices into the pot, you add about four cups of water. So that's two and there we go, so that's roughly four cups. Now with chai, you can either make it, some people have black chai, they don't add any milk. Other people actually make it in the milk. I recommend maybe doing half and half, 
and then you can just ad adjust to your taste. Now I'll put this on a high heat and what happens now is I just let it come to the boil and when it starts to boil I'll simmer it for 10 minutes. Now I'll come over because I've um, got another pot here which has already been simmering. So that's simmering beautifully. It smells so good. I can smell the spices. So what I do to finish the chai, I'll actually turn it off and I, you can use loose, loose leaf tea, but I've got um, tea bags. So I've got a, a good strong Darjeeling tea. You can use any tea you like. And I'm going to put them into the chai to let it steep. So I'll quickly put them in. It's a bit tricky doing it with the gloves. Now traditionally, as I was saying before, tea wasn't um, added to chai till later. And now we have so many teas available. People even make chai with a green tea base or a red tea base. So... There are so many choices now, and it depends on your health, on your taste, on your diet. That's a lovely thing with chai. You can make it to suit yourself. I'm just putting these six um, tea bags in, and I let it steep for five minutes. People say then you should take the tea bags out because otherwise the tea can become a little bit bitter. Now in, in India, the tea uh, makers are called chai wallas and they apparently sell tea on all the different street corners and they probably have their own special secret recipes. So people would go to their favourite chai wallah for their tea. Now while we wait for, for um, the chai to brew for the five minutes, I'll quickly show you, I'm going to use um, dairy milk today. Now traditionally, chai was made with buffalo milk, which is very creamy. And also goat's milk was used and yak's milk. Talk about yak, I know I'm yakking a lot, but I'll just quickly show you. If you can't have dairy milk, you may like soy milk. You may like coconut milk. It, it gives it a little bit of a coconut flavour, but some people like that. Oh, this one's the coconut milk. And here's a, just an almond milk. There are many nut milks now. There's hazelnut milk. There's all sorts of milk. So choose whatever milk you like, and you can try the different ones. This recipe that I'm um, making today uses sugar. Um, you can also use coconut sugar. You could use honey. You could use rice syrup, maple syrup. So if you have a vegan diet and you um, prefer not to use honey, you could use some of the other sweeteners. The good thing also is if people who are on a diabetic diet, there's stevia, many other sweeteners. Now this recipe calls for quite a bit of sugar. I think it's half a cup, but just adjust it as you make it. Because this would serve probably yourself and five friends. It's probably a good amount of chai. Now I'm going to take the tea bags out now. Because I think it's been about five minutes. I have been yakking for about five minutes since then. So I will now, I might try and take them out of there. I'll do the best I can. I'll take them out. That's it. It's looking a much darker colour now because of the tea. Sorry, I wasn't ready for that, to, where to put the um, tea bags. Now, I'm going to put the same amount of milk as I did water because I'm just doing half-half. So I'll probably put two jugs of milk. But I'll watch the colour. I'm putting two cups in first. And 
Actually, that already looks like a nice colour. I'm worried if I put extra milk, it might be a little bit weak. So it's a beautiful pale colour, but not too pale. So I'll leave it at that. And now I'm going to add a bit of sugar. This one's um, now simmering nicely, so I'll turn it off. I'll just put sugar in. Because I put a bit less milk, I won't put all the sugar. And I'll turn this back on now because after I've added the cold milk, I want to bring it back to a simmer. So I just gently mix it. You can whisk it with a whisk or use a fork till, it's, till the sugar dissolves. Now chai, as I was saying, it's used in many ways in different cultures. Some people use it to welcome guests into their home. Um, in some countries, people would have four cups of chai a day, probably like we have tea or coffee, or some of us have probably more than four cups. And my colleague was saying that in India, they serve chai on a train in little clay pots. Because when you finish the chai, you can just throw the pot out the window of the train. But just make sure you don't hit, hit anyone walking near the train. But then the clay pots, are, they decompose. So it's good for the environment. Now that's nice and hot. So I'll then pour it into a cup. Now usually it's got the leaves and everything in it, so I will strain it to put it through. If you make a lot of the mixture, you could keep some aside and add the milk. Just use a little bit at a time and add the milk to make yourself a a cup and the rest can stay in the fridge. Alternatively, on a hot day, you can make iced chai. So you can make your chai and put it in the fridge. I love iced chai. So that's the chai. I'm a bit, a bit of a messy cook here. And because I love star anise, I just pop one on top. And I'm going to actually sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon, one-handed. Sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon, oh it smells good. Now I hope that you try making chai, try different spices and always remember beauty is in the chai of the beholder. Cheers. Oh, it's actually very nice. <laughs> Six drops of the essence of terror, five drops of sinister sauce. When the stirring's done, may I like the spoon? Of course, ha ha, of course.